Uh, hi there, this is Elisha and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> I've actually sampled out a question from one of the past papers and the question is actually on trigonometry. So I'm going to show you how you can find a side whose value or whose dimension hasn't been given, the side, one of the sides of the triangle and then how you can find the area of a triangle and how you can determine the shortest distance from one vertex to the other side. Without any further ado, let's take a ride. So the, the problem reads, the same the diagram below shows the location of houses for a village headman. He is secretary and a trustee Now we're saying H is actually 1.3 centimeters from S and T is, this is not correct, and T <coughs> is 1.9 from H. Okay, so it's just okay. Everything is okay. And then we're saying THS is equal to 130 degrees. So the angle edge is 130 degrees. The question is now for calculate the area of the triangle. So in the previous videos, I actually demonstrated how you can find the area of an unright angle triangle. So now this is how you, you find the area. You say area is given by half you check out the size that I've been given so we've been given side T can you collect the data side T in the side opposite vertex T is 1.3 then we also have side S which is got 1.9 kilometers And then you're also given angle H, which is equal to 130 degrees. <clears throat> so now we're going to say for any nine right angle triangle, the area is given by A, B, sine C. So in this case, we're going to say area is equal to you half. This would be T. S sine one sine uh, h. You cannot plug in the values. That is area is equal to half. What's t? <coughs> that's one point three. Then s that's one point nine. Then sine h that's one thirty degree. So area therefore is equal to. You can actually punch the calculator by simply punching in everything. So that would be half times times 1.3 times 1.9 then times sine 130. <coughs> so now what I found is 0 0.946068873. Now, on an exam, it's always advisable to round off any given answer to two decimal places. So this would be area is equal to 0 0.9. This one <coughs> is a six, so this one increased by one. This one is greater than five. 95 kilometer square. So we can write the answer here. Say number one, area is equal to 0 0.95 kilometer square. I'm writing here because I now need to make use of this space to solve number two. So let's move on and work out number two. So number two is saying calculate the distance TS. 
Okay, so we've been given two sides and an angle. So when you're given two sides and an angle, you can actually employ the cosine rule to determine to determine the the side of the triangle which hasn't been given. So now what we have is this we have this side as side S, we use small letters when we are talking of sides. This one is side H and that one is side T. Okay? So we can quickly collect data if we want. You say S is equal to 1.9, then uh, we have T which is equal to 1.3, and then H hasn't been given. We don't know. That's the one we are looking for. And then we, we've also been given an angle which is angle H, 130 degrees. We can use, we can make use of that angle. We can make use of that symbol to denote an angle. So now after having collected, collected data, we can now come up with a formula for determining the value of the length of the side whose dimension has been given. So now we can formulate the equation. If you, have, you hadn't checked the video, well, this may appear to be margin, but uh, I urge you to look for the video right here on this channel where I did the first part. That is how to determine the unknown side of a triangle using the cosine rule. So here we go. You know, this is the one that we want to find. So that's the one we're starting with. A squared is equal to, we bring in the two other sides. That is S squared plus T squared minus 2ST cos H. So we can now plug in the values. So that would be a square is equal to what's s that's 1.9 square plus t that's 1.3 square minus 2. What is s? 1.9. Then what's t? That's 1.3. Then cos angle h that's uh, 130 degrees. So h squared is equal to. So what I'll do is I'll simply punch in everything at a go on my calculator. 1.5, 1.9 squared plus 1.3 squared minus 2 times 1.9 times 1.3 then cos 130. Okay, so now what I found is <clears throat> Our interest is to find H not H squared. So we have to square root both sides. So we have H is equal to the square root of 8.475370792 is actually 2.5. Nine one one two four nine zero zero nine. Now, on exams, you're always advised to round off any answer to two decimal places. So this one is less than five, so the one will remain the way it is. So that would be two point nine one kilometers. So H, which is which in the question is referred to as TS. We can say therefore TS is equal to 2.91 kilometers. So here we can indicate to say TS is equal to 2.9 kilometers. Let's move on to the last question where they want us to find the shortest distance from H from here to TS. So you draw a line and now this line is actually the shortest distance from H to uh, from H to TS. So then how do you find how do you find the length of this line? When you determine the length of this line then you found the shortest distance. So now how do you determine the length of that line? So here what you do is you make use of the formula area is equal to half base times height. 
So now area is the one that we just we, we just calculated. That that's the one that we found in the first place. And then the base is this line which is at the bottom, the base line. And then height, this is the height that we are actually trying to resolve. So you simply plug in the value. So area has been found to be 0 0.95, half. And then what's the base? The base is actually this side we just from resolving, which is TS, which is 2.9. Then height is what we're looking for. We don't have it yet. So you can multiply these two first. So that will be 0 0.95, which is equal to uh, we're going to have half times 2.9, which gives us 1.45 H. Our goal is to make sure that we find the value of H. So we need to multiply by the inverse, this side, even this side. The inverse of the coefficient of H. So this one and that one comes on times H, that will give us H. Then 0 0.95, 0 0.95 divided by 1.45. What you get? So that one gives us 0 0.6551724138. Round off the answer to two decimal places. That will be 0 0.66. 0 0.66 is equal to h. We can say therefore the shortest distance from H to TS is equal to 0 0.66 kilometers. Friends, that's how we actually resolve problems that have to do with trigonometry. I'm now sending you out there among the papers. Say so you go and answer as many questions as you can and uh, celebrate your victory. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that anytime I happen to post a video, you happen to be the first person to be alighted. Don't forget to share with the friends so that they may also be learning math from this channel. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.